in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can conduct high quality video podcast interviews that allow you to not have to edit your video after the conversation is done and will give you the ability to post high quality reels, TikToks, and YouTube shorts from your podcast so that people can discover it this year. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media and this channel is all about helping you build your influence with online video and YouTube and oftentimes we cover the topic of video podcasting because we love video podcasting and it's a huge opportunity to be able to sit down once, record an awesome conversation, upload that conversation, conversation to YouTube and then take that audio, put it on audio podcasts and then make even reels and short form content from that conversation. And so if you're interested in that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you actually get started is you're gonna wanna think about upgrading your microphone and your camera or webcam. And you don't have to actually break the bank to get a good sounding microphone. Two microphones that I would recommend to you. Number one is the Samson Q2U. This is a great mic, a USB mic that plugs right into your computer or laptop. Sounds amazing. Comes with everything you need for about $70. And we'll post links to it down in the description below. But the next mic is a little bit more expensive and there's a little bit more features to make it sound a little bit better. But that is the Samson Q9U, which is about a $100 mic and you're gonna need a desk stand as well as a boom arm to accessorize with that mic. And it's actually one of my favorite mics and I've tested tons. Now the the next thing you're gonna wanna look into upgrading is your webcam because the built-in webcam on most computers and laptops just don't look too good. And if you're a host of a video podcast interview, you wanna look good. And if you wanna upgrade your webcam, one webcam upgrade I would recommend is the Anchor C200 2K webcam. This webcam comes in at under $70. Many times you could find it for 50, but it just looks so good. It's just a very clean look, especially if you get a good light on your face. A couple other ways you can actually upgrade your current webcam setup is either with a smartphone, yes, your iPhone or Android, you can use as a webcam, or if you have a camera, you can actually use that as a webcam as well. I actually made a video talking about those three types of upgrades. I'll post a link to it down in the description below. But once you got that all dialed and you're looking good and you're sounding good, you're ready to get your podcast started. Now the tool that you're gonna use to conduct and record your interviews is actually called StreamYard. This is a web-based software that just needs Google Chrome to be able to access. So the person you're interviewing doesn't need to download or install any special software on their computer, smartphone, or laptop, which is so cool. And by the way, you can get started for free with StreamYard. Just go to streamwiththink.com. There's a limited plan when you do the free plan, but just with about a $20 a month investment, you can kind of crush your video podcast. Let me just show you what it looks like. You're gonna go to the StreamYard dashboard and start a new recording. Once you do that, it's gonna prompt you to title this recording. And in this case, I'm just gonna call it Interview with Kyle. And then you're just gonna select the necessary boxes that would pertain to you, because you can just capture the audio only, but I would encourage you definitely capture the video. Enter the studio, and then once you enter, you're going to hit the invite button, and then it's just gonna give you a link. Now that link can be sent to your guests via email, text, or whatever. And what's cool about clicking email is it kind of gives you an automated template to be able to email your guests on your show. And then once they click that link, they're actually in the studio and you'll see them. And then once you bring them on, you can see how you can do different transitions and bring them on screen or go half screen. And definitely practice with this before you actually record your interview. But on the top right of the screen, you're gonna hit record when you're ready to conduct that conversation. And what I love about StreamYard, it actually is capturing that show. So when you actually end your recording, you're met with a handful of files, not just the video of the host and the guest. No, it also gives you the file of the actual conversation. And this is where it actually speeds up the workflow completely because I can literally download that conversation with all the transitions and I just upload that to YouTube or wherever you wanna host your video podcast on and it's already kind of polished to be able to publish. So that's why I love StreamYard, but you can actually take the single recordings and then if there's ever a cool or valuable moment for social media or vertical video, then you can just create that reel because you actually have that file. So you're not limited by the final project where you have the two people on screen that's kind of hard to use for a social media clip. The whole flow is like ready to go, that rhymes, with StreamYard and you can literally get started with it for free by going to streamwiththink.com. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below, but I hope you crush your video podcast this year. Click or tap the screen if you want to see a video on how you can level up your webcam setup and overall your desk setup. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.